viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. Today has just not really been it so far. I was feeling slightly overwhelmed, but I decided today was going to be just a cozy fall day. We've got some coffee going on here. All the cozy vibes, I got a cozy sweater, and I even put a little fire on on our TV. <laughs> It's the closest we can get to a fireplace, and it just really makes the room feel so cozy. Um, but yeah, I don't have a lot going on today. I'm doing a little bit of laundry and stuff, so I thought I would take today to just really enjoy all the fall things. It's rather dreary out today. The sun has been shining off and on, but um, yeah, we're just going to enjoy all the fall things. I am planning to take a little walk over to the library this afternoon. I almost never go there, um, but I've been feeling like reading lately, which is very strange for me. Um, so I thought we would take a little walk over there, see what they have. Um, and I'm not even sure what all else. I just, I want this to just be a really cozy little vlog. I might bake a dessert because we're going to my in-laws for dinner tonight and I'm gonna bring a dessert there. I wanted to show you yesterday, um, I took a really impromptu trip to Michael's. My friend was gonna go and she just invited me to hop in and come along with her. And I found this cute little mold. I don't know if you can see it. And I thought it would be kind of fun to make some hot chocolate bombs just for the kicks of it. I know fall is like almost over, but I don't know. I just, I was feeling the vibes. Um, but we're gonna have to first see if my husband will pick up some hot chocolate powder for me. <laughs> Um, because I'm like basically out and so I just texted him to see if he's gonna go by the store I want stuff with marshmallows because I don't have marshmallows to add so yeah I think this would be just super duper cute and I think we're gonna make those this morning got the goods so we're gonna attempt to make hot chocolate bombs I have never made these before so crossing my fingers it'll work good guys aren't watching that and just absolutely cringing but to be honest I just don't know what I'm doing I'm just kind of winging it and it's really fun I think I'm gonna do another layer yet yeah, I just put them in the freezer now and then I'm going to brush another layer in there that brush actually worked really well to just kind of push it into all the cracks and stuff um, and yeah I'm just really excited I think they're gonna be so cute if they work out <laughs> How stinking cute is this? Oh my word. The little pumpkin, I think it's my favorite. And then there's a little turkey. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to try these out. I came up to our room and I'm thinking I want to do some sort of outfit inspiration type of deal. Um, I've seen a couple people do this where they like recreated Pinterest outfits. Um, and so this morning I was like looking for outfit inspiration. As I was looking for outfit 
the inspiration I found myself really um, thinking I needed to go shopping and find some new pieces, which if I find something for a decent price, I might still buy it. But I'm going to look through my closet, shop my closet, and see what we have and see if we can um, just get some outfit inspiration and new outfit ideas. Um, this outfit that I'm currently wearing, I guess you guys pretty much saw the whole thing, but let me just kind of show you. So it's a cropped, really like oversized. I love the sleeves, they're so baggy. Um, and then it has just kind of like a nice elastic cuff at the bottom. Um, it's so thin, but still like cozy. And I thrifted it a while back. I don't know if you can, let's get some good lighting. It's just classic knitted sweaters. <laughs> it definitely looks maybe a little bit worn, but it is just so cozy. And then I'm wearing this knee length, um, like high waisted button down skirt, which I think it goes together really well. Um, so yeah, that's my outfit right now, but I'm gonna just go like look through my closet, look through everything that I have, and we're gonna make some outfits and I'll show you what I got. <laughs> This first outfit is really, really simple. Um, I'm still wearing the same sweater, but I put on this skirt. I hope you can see it good. But it's more of kind of a church outfit. I really like it. Let's see if we can give you a close-up of the skirt. It's like, I don't know, black and white. It's not plaid. I don't know how to describe this pattern, but... It has buttons all the way down the front and I kind of bought this sweater for the purpose of wearing with this skirt because I think it looks really cute together and it would work great for winter as well. This was actually a little, um, it's not really an overall dress but kind of that style. I made it last year and I ended up wearing it quite a bit with this same turtleneck shirt it's i don't know it just makes me feel really cozy and i just think it's so so cute um definitely will work for both winter and fall same dress different top underneath um this is just an oversized beige sweater that i've had for quite a while and i think it looks so cute under here it definitely has the potential to get very toasty, but if I know that I'm gonna be like spending a lot of time outside, this would be the perfect thing to wear like to a pumpkin patch or something like that. Next outfit, I think this looks very cute together, the denim with this, um, this turtleneck. I have it over a black, like, it's not distressed, but it's just a, like a black denim. I hope you can see it. Um, so I'm trying to practice a little bit with denim on denim because I think it has the potential to look very cute. I just haven't ever pulled it off yet, but I do think that this looks really cute. Um, but you could just go without the denim as well and just have this really simple look. This black skirt that I have on right now um, in the previous outfit, it is from Oak Olive Co, which I will link her shop down below and what i really like about it is that you can just you can literally match it with anything this is my absolute favorite sweater i got it from ardeen like last winter and i'm absolutely in love with the color i've been wearing it a lot which you've probably noticed on some of my videos it's just like it's kind of cropped but not really and i really like that um and it's just so simple I just recently thrifted this, I don't know what color it is exactly, very beigey, creamy, um, it's a turtleneck, long sleeved, um, it's just super comfy and I'm currently wearing it with this skirt. I have this little 
Sherpa vest that I got from another little shop called Elegance by Jen. I'll also link her shop down below, but I think this is absolutely adorable and it's just so very cozy. If you don't want like a jacket or something really thick over your arms, a vest works perfect. Again, I think you could make this denim jacket work. It wouldn't be quite as thick as with that sweater I was wearing before, but still more or less the same look. So I'm a really big fan. I kind of like the really light denim with the dark denim. Okay, I kind of splurged on this white dress for our for this year's anniversary photo shoot. I think it's just adorable. I just absolutely love the top. Um, the only thing I'm not really a fan of are the sleeves. I feel like they're slightly short for my liking. I just feel uncomfy. And so, anyways, I wouldn't want to wear it like this during the fall. So, I have a few things that I wanted to test out. I have this burnt orange sweater. Very oversized. But either you could just kind of wear it like this. I feel like my hair is getting so messy. But... To do a little tuck, um, either I could tuck it up into my bra or just wear like a little belt around here and tuck it up into there. Um, it's definitely a very cozy look and I'm kind of a fan of the white on white. Also, the denim works, but I feel like it doesn't really say fall <laughs> or it doesn't really... It's not, it's just not as cozy as the others were. So anyways, that is my outfit ideas. I could make so many more. I think fall is my favorite time to dress for. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely not the trendiest person. Like anyways, I hope you still got some inspiration from it. If anything, it gave me some outfit inspiration um, because sometimes I just feel like I have no idea what to wear. And so yeah. Anyways, if anything, it maybe can help you to be inspired to just shop your closet. You don't always need to get new clothes. You can just mix things up and find new outfits that you never thought about before. Highly recommend. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's time for some hot chocolate. Okay, here's my little haul. These are both novels, like, I think they're both romance novels. Don't judge my choice in books, but I was feeling it. And I thought this would be so cozy to watch um, right now. Now, I want to make a dessert for tonight. I found these really yummy looking caramel apple cheesecake bars and I have all the ingredients so we're gonna make them
I just know this is gonna be so yummy. all for today's video I really hope that you enjoyed it um, it was super fun to just spend a day just doing fun folly things um, so anyways I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you next time